All right, we are so excited for our Taste It Tuesday because this comes with a big grand opening for a restaurant that has been around for a long time. Yeah, so this is exciting. They have an expansion going on, and are we going to reveal what this we plate are. is? There are flowers in the way. I have to hold it up. This is Boom. From DJ's Barbecue Ribs and Grill. Look. And you have a beautiful Look. platter. At the so, platter of ribs. Here's why this is Coleslaw, really exciting. Onion rings. How could it be bad, right? I know, I gotta taste it. All right, Here's, you tell them why it's exciting. This is why it's so exciting, because they have been a staple in Weirton, West Virginia since 1980. You know something is good if you've been open for mm. more than 40 mm. years, right? So mm -hmm. they've been there in Weirton, serving the people of Weirton, West Virginia, and they just decided to open their second location in Collier Township. So they've moved into Pennsylvania, into our neck of the woods, yeah. with plans to open two more locations in Wexford and in Washington. So... And you know what? It is the sauce. So uh -huh. much it is, so much of the time, it is the sauce when it comes to ribs. Mm -hmm. They know what they're doing. I'm no wonder they've been around for so long. Oh yeah, look at you, aren't you delicate? I just went in like a caveman. So I called to make sure everything was still good yesterday. And I, I'm talking to Alexis. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, congrats on the grand opening. How did it go? And she goes, it's, it's starting in a half an hour. Oh, so no. they had their <laughs> big grand opening yeah, in 20 minutes from when I called. So congrats again right. to them. And thank you to Alexis and to the team at DJ's for giving us this great taste of what you offer. Yeah. And, and so we, we love that we were able to show it off on the show. Mm -hmm. And we wish them the best of luck with, with their expansion. So once I, again, we're going to nibble throughout the hour, I think. I love coleslaw. Oh, me too. I it's the perfect like summertime salad kind Although, of thing. Although I'm not a huge celery person, and I know some people will put celery in their coleslaw. Isn't it mostly cabbage? It is, but some yeah. people will put it in. It's the same thing. It's like sneaky. It gets into potato salad and macaroni salad. Oh, and Gary adds it to the potato salad that we buy. Chicken sometimes. salad. You do not like celery. Not a big fan. No. Oh. All right, the things I Doesn't learned. do it for me. I thought I knew you. Don't like beets either. Don't even. <gasps> I know. You would not say that to me. Beets. I love beets. Beets are fantastic. Tastes like the ground. The, the, yes, they're earthy. They have a wonderful earthy flavor to them. The beets taste the way Niagara Falls smells. Beets are this wonderful, like natural thing. And when you have it with goat cheese and pistachios on a salad, mm -hmm. oh, you just you have not had beets like, done correctly. I feel like beets are one of those things that as you age and your taste buds dwindle, then you start to like things that you didn't like as a child when they were like, Hypersensitive. No, no, you know? no, no, no. See, the, the, the thing that's wrong with that sentence, as your taste buds dwindle. I don't know. Is that a thing? No. As, you, as your taste matures, then you realize this the, the wonder why, in something else. This is why you see, you know, some people in their 60s, 70s, 80s who can sip like bourbon, you know? You can't do that in your 20s. It's too much. It's too much. You just gotta get okay. it down and over. With. I don't know. We're gonna. We need to get some science. We need like a medical expert to tell us about you do mean your taste buds dwindle <laughs> as we get older? Because I don't think that's why I like beets. I love beets as a child. I've always loved beets. Well, again. <laughs> Do we need to go back you to know the room? What? Our producer is so, we'll like, move on. Okay. very patiently saying in our ears right now, why don't you do the ticket winner? Okay, 